Good day viewers, and thank you most sincerely for tuning in to Polymer Update TV, the world's first TV network, with a free petrochemicals news show. You are watching the Petrochemical Market Synopsis with me, Claire Jones. It is Friday, December 8. Let's start with energy and feedstock news. Crude oil prices dropped on Thursday owing to a fall in crude oil imports of China, one of the world's largest crude oil importing nations raising concerns about the faltering state of the world's second-largest economy. Brent crude prices fell by 0.25 cents settling at $74.05 per barrel, while WTI futures decreased by 0.04 cents settling at $69.34 per barrel. On Thursday, OpenSpec naphtha prices fell sharply by $16 per metric ton at $646 per metric ton CFR Far East Asia levels. This week, polypropylene prices declined in Europe. The PP market momentum in Europe has slackened considerably with market participants curtailing their business activities in a phased manner. The offloading of inventories continued through the week with the upcoming winter holidays. Meanwhile, market participants noted that demand for material from consumers has ebbed. In the midst of the current market downtrend, market participants are focused on planning ahead for 2024 with the overall sectorial picture continuing to remain bleak. In the spot markets, PP injection molding grade prices were assessed at the 1,025 to 1,035 euros per metric ton FD Northwest Europe mark, a drop of 20 euros per metric ton. PP block copolymer grade prices were assessed at the 1,105 to 1,115 euros per metric ton FD Northwest Europe levels, a week-on-week -week fall of 20 euros per metric ton. This week, polyvinyl chloride prices edged lower in Europe. This week, polypropylene export prices rolled over in the United States. This week, polyvinyl chloride export prices quoted flat in the United States. If you like our video, don't forget to subscribe to our free news channel and like this video by giving us a thumbs up. It motivates us to continue to bring you our free news service on a daily basis. In plant news, Yenchong Zhongran Chemical is likely to restart its propane dehydrogenation unit in January 2024. It was shut for maintenance in end November 2023. Located at Jiangsu in China, the unit has a propylene production capacity of 600,000 metric ton per year. That's all for today. Don't forget to watch our daily news video tomorrow to know more. This is Polymer Update, with me, Claire Jones, from Polymer Update's Virtual World. Many thanks for watching.